Three years ago, John Galliano was the creative force behind his own brand and Christian Dior. Then he was recorded making racist, racist and anti-Semitic remarks. That video went viral and he lost his job. He apologized and entered rehab. Last night, Galliano gave his first television interview since the incident. He told me about his fall from grace and the tirade that toppled his career. How could you say that? What's your own explanation? No one, um, no one was more shocked than myself, Charlie. I mean, I just saw that footage you showed and it threw me quite. Um, at that point in my career, I had become um, what is known as a blackout drinker. It's where um, one can't transfer short-term memory into long-term memory. So I have no memory of that event. You remember um, none of these words? No. You remember being there? No. I don't even remember, I wasn't aware that I had been filmed. Here's what's troubling to some. This wasn't just one incident. It was more than one. That's correct. If somebody had come and said those things in your presence when you were sober, what would you have done? I love Hitler. Uh, I would think you should something. burn. What would you have said if you were sober? I would think there's something terribly wrong with that person, Charlie. Are you trying to recapture what you had at the top of your fashion career? Or right now, no. What I'm trying to do right now is understand what happened, make amends, living amends. Every day I try to be the best person I can be. Do you worry that somehow that creativity, you can't find that again? I did worry about that, especially when I was in rehabilitation, the rehabilitation center in Arizona. And they encouraged me to start writing because I, I couldn't talk. I was pretty monosyllabic at that point. Um, so I would write and write and write. Um, and that was creative. Um, pretty much anything I apply myself to is, is, is done in a creative way. I could be walking down the street and still my eye is, 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 is working. I'm looking at people. Um, walking down the road and market an exhibition, all those things um, hadn't hadn't stopped. That that part of the process hadn't stopped. Um, and then when I was invited by Oscar de la Renta as a residency um, to work on with him um, on his collection, the collection was quite well underway. Uh, at first, I thought I I just couldn't because I hadn't been in the studio for for two years. And then I decided that yes, I would. And what do you hope people understand about you today? Do you want them to say that? That I'm not an anti-Semite and I'm not a racist. Um, I, I know I'm not. And for those people who say, John, I listened to your story. Uh, I hear it. Um, I believe you believe it. But I'm so troubled, I can't, I can't be there for it. I can't accept it. What do you say to them? Um, I, I accept that. I can't control what people think of me or say um, of me, say about me. I, I can't control that. I, I accept that. But I will continue to make amends. Mm. Your impressions, you know, when you see that video, it's so disturbing, but everybody who knows him says that that's not the guy who he is. They do, and, and lots of people that you know and, and yeah. I know here in New York who I talked to yesterday before this said, you know, he was a decent guy, but this is an awful thing to say, and, and he's apologized and trying to make amends, make amends. and he's in rehabilitation.